see we've got our main screen. You can get to any of the different um, heating and cooling routines from here. Here's our sidewall fans. Our heat. Our tunnel fans. into our uh, tools page. Uh, you can get into your factory settings. Um, you can get into your uh, contacts. Your set up your outputs. Change the language. Got our easy access 2.0 settings. Um, our security settings. Uh, thermos thermistor calibration. Our manuals page, uh, we've got our user setups, clock settings. Um, some of the things we got going on, we've got our uh, evaporative cooling. Uh, there's an algorithm runs in the background of the HMI to adjust that as needed. So it'll ramp up the time it runs and down according to uh, the way the temperature is responding of it. Uh, we've got our lights and our clock settings. Here we set up our uh, light schedules, uh, the times they come off and on. And then back here we've got all of our other light scheduling. Uh, you can have up to 10 different schedules. Uh, you can set it for spiking. And what spiking is, it will actually ramp the light intensity up and down uh, based off of your settings here for each one. Here we've got our pressure settings for all of our inlets that we can set for those. We've got our uh, minimum vent settings. Uh, this maintains a minimum amount of ventilation in the house. And then we also have uh, temperature and ventilation ramping that can be enabled. Uh, this will take the house set point and increase it or decrease it based on the uh, day settings. And the temperature so you can set temperature waypoints and the actual grow day that it moves to that different waypoint and it will calculate what the uh, temperature change is over the amount of time and it will ramp it you know at every hour by a very small temperature amount so the actual set point 